All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the darts. Now, remember, the waist is 28. I'm going to just put a little notation for myself out here. So it's 28. Now, remember, we divide that by 4, and that's what we got 7 inches. You know, from the center front to the side seam, the side seam, center back. So 7 inches, 7 inches. Okay, but we need to add for our darts. So you want to do plus 1 and a half inches for your darts. Okay, so that brings us to eight and a half. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. From the center front toward the side seam, we're looking for eight and a half. All right, eight and a half. Now, from this point, we want to square up a half inch. And you say, well, why do you want to square up a half inch? Because our bodies are curved. And so we're going to square up a half inch at the side seam. And then from that point back to the center front, this is going to be your new line. So make sure you understand. From here, center front, to here, that's eight and a half. And let me double check my measurements. And always check your measurements as you're drafting. Go up a half inch and then square, and then square to here. All right, that's going to be the line we make our darts from. So let's talk about our darts. We want two darts. The first dart is going to be four inches long, and the second dart is going to be three inches long, and we'll explain why a little later. So from the center front to the center of the first dart, we want three inches. That's a standard, ladies and gentlemen. Why three? It's a standard. This is going to be the center of our first dart. So as I square a line down, this dart is going to be four inches long. Remember, this line is no longer, we're not using that. We're using the slanted one. All right, here we go. Four inches down. And we know that our dart is three-fourths of an inch wide. So it's three-eighths on each side. Three-eighths on that side. Three-eighths on the other side. And you notice how I'm using my ruler. I'm using it like a see-through ruler because it is. Okay? Then this is going to be our first dart. Right there and right here. Would you look at that? So we went from here to here, our three inches. Now we need the next one. So what we want to do is we just want to have the center of the second dart. If this is five inches, the center of the second dart would be right here at two and a half. Square down from the slanted line. Three inches long. Here we go. Remember, it's three eighths of an inch wide on each side. That makes a total of three fourths of an inch wide. And remember, when the sample girl is sewing it up, make sure she get the darts right because this has to be correct. And look at that. Voila. Now I want to close these darts. So you can see exactly what we're talking about when we close the dart. I'm not going to draw my line, my, my, uh, my curve at the hip just yet. Because we need to close the darts. And once we close the darts, we want to make sure we end up with 7 inches. Okay? So, here we go. Uh, why don't I go ahead and I'm going to cut it at the bottom hem. Just, you know, try to get rid of some of the paper. Make it easier on us. And then I'm just going to cut the side seam all the way up. Now remember, we still have to put in our curve. So I'm going to turn the paper and we're going to go ahead and cut right here. All righty. All right. I'm going to just set that to the side, ladies and gentlemen, so we get ready to close our doors. I might as well just go ahead and cut right here where the center front is. A lot of times when I'm making my patterns, I go ahead and close the darts, but I want you all to be able to see clearly without a lot of other things being in your way. Now remember, here we go. Here we go. We get ready to close the darts. First, we got to... You, the inside of the darts always goes toward the center front or the center back. So I'm going to fold that first leg right here, folding it on that leg. When I was in school, we had a hard time trying to close the darts. 
fold it on that first leg right there then we fold it at the apex of the dart at the point all right come back fold it right at the point there we go and since we already pre-folded that first leg it makes it easier just to go ahead and let that first leg meet the second leg there we go put some tape on it now let's do the next dart i'm not worried about anything else on this paper i'm not letting it get in my way i'm not going to be intimidated by a dart you fold it on that first leg and ladies and gentlemen don't try to do it like that first always lay your paper down you got a point here at the end of that dart you got a point here at the end of the other dart of, the, of that leg just lay it down flat now go across the bottom of the dart now we will be able to match up this leg to that leg there we go would you look at that now the magic number we're going to be looking for is seven this is our waistline now we don't want to have jagged edges so what we need to do we need to make sure that we go ahead and get a nice curved line let me go over here and grab my ruler here we go and some people say how do you curve the line just put your ruler up to it don't try not to go past the line that you already have and just get rid of some of those points. If I look at it right here, I can get rid of that point right here. Get rid of that point right there. And that's all it is to it. It's curved. Now I need to measure it. The number that I'm looking for. Do you know the number I'm looking for? If you said 7, you are correct. And look at that. It's right at 7. I'm very happy about that. So I know right there I'm in the right spot. Sometimes it may be a little bit more, a little bit less. You just make adjustments. Now we're going to go ahead and cut. And you know we're cutting on that slanted line because that's what we're working with now. Then we're going to put our notches. So let's get your notcher. And put the notch there and you know you put the notch where the dart meets let's open it up that's why i always tell you guys get that tape that it's easy to take off so you don't tear your paper look at that so very good now let's get our curve I'm gonna take my ruler my curve ruler and what i'm looking for is this i'm looking for it's a blend in. For those of you who drive, you know how you blend in traffic. You know, you merge onto the highway. You just want it to blend in. You don't want to do something like that. You don't want that. And then that's, you know, that makes a point. This should be nice and curved and smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and use it with the felt tip marker so you can really see it. Look at that curve. Beautiful. Now, let's go ahead and cut that. Now, remember, you already know that your basic slopers, they don't have seam allowances. Some people say, what type of curve should that really be? And as we talk about patterns more, we'll begin to discuss the curves and if you want to do a different curve and why. Okay? So, we have that. Now, we're just going to go right to the back. Okay. Now, since we did the front, you guys should be able to tell me what we're doing for the back. So, that's our center back. Here's our waist. I don't want to confuse you, but I'm going to turn my pattern. All right? I'm turning my pattern this way because it's easier for me to work that way. So, you should be able to roll with me on this. Ready, guys? Center back to the side seam. We want eight and a half. We already know why we want eight and a half. If you don't know why you want eight and a half, you need to be thinking about that. You can hit rewind and figure it out. Eight and a half. Square up a half inch. And then go from that point to the center back. Now the darts are a little bit different in length. We want a six inch dart, six inch long dart 
a five inch long dart. Same thing though. We want three inches from the center back. One, two, three. There we go, right there. Okay, and we're gonna square down. This is gonna be six inches long. Look at that, it just happened to stop right at six inches. I didn't do it that way, it just happened to stop that way. All right, three eighths on each side. And then later on, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'd like to show you, we're doing the pattern draft way, and then we're going to have some classes where I show you how to drape the basic skirt sloper. That's a lot of fun, too. For those of you who really don't like math, that might be a little better for you. Okay, same thing. Now we need the middle of the second dart. And this one's going to be five inches long. Ba, 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 ba. There we go. And I like to mark over the three eighths right here. Three eighths right there. You know, when I first started out, all I wanted to do was draft the pattern from the straight line. And look now, that's exactly what we're doing. Okay. So now, here we go. Close the darts. We're going to go ahead, though. I'm going to go ahead and cut the center back. Then we're going to close the darts. Remember, as I told you before, when you cut, you leave your scissor on the table. You glide it. Well, I don't want to see you guys picking up your paper and cutting it. Make sure you leave it on the table. Glide it through. We are almost done with this section. And if you need to rewind, no problem. Remember, inside of the dart, toward the center back or the center front, fold the first leg. Don't be afraid of the paper. I'm going to fold it right there at that point, right there at that point, and I'm going to make sure it's nice and crisp folded. Okay, go across the bottom where the point is. Then it's easy to lap it over and go to the other leg of the dart. There we go, like so. And then we're going to go ahead and put the tape on it. Now let's close the next dart. There we go. You should like what you're doing. You should really like what you're working on. I think uh, fashion designers, pattern designers, we love what we do. It should be a happy experience. You should know what you're doing. You can be creative and technical all at the same time. Here we go. Fold that. And then, do you know the next step? Can I hear you? Let's go ahead. If you said get the curve ruler and get you a nice line, that is correct. A nice curvy line, no jagged edges. It may seem like a little thing on this, but when we start doing bodices and men's stuff, you got to make sure we get nice curves. All right? Curves, what I mean, like armholes and necklines. Okay. What's that magic number that we're looking for? And if you said seven, that's correct. Always check to make sure. I look like I can bump it out a sixteenth of an inch or so. That's fine. Okay. Let's cut it, and then we're going to talk about how do we get that curve on the back, at the hip. Tape's trying to come out a little bit. Let me go ahead and notch it. Put a notch right there, and another notch right there. There we go. Now, as far as the side seam curve, think about it. Okay, here's my center front. I'm going to put a notch at that hip level at the side seam. Basically, you're going to match up. Let's move some of the stuff out the way. We're going to match up the side seam of the front to the side seam of the back. Right here. And then match it up at the waist there and then now you already have your curve you don't have to 
get the ruler on it again, just in case you get a different type curve. Remember, these are going to sew together. So you want the angles and curves to be the same. That makes your garment lay flatter, more professional, more balanced. Okay. And what I like to do on the center back, at the hip level, I want to put double notch. Notch right there, notch right there. Two notches in the back. Two notches mean that's the back. No notch on the front because that's going to be on the fold. Would you just look at that? Let me turn it this way so you guys can get a really good look at this. There we go. Center front, side seam, center back. That's the hem. Here's the waist. Here's the darts. Curve. Perfect. You're on your way. You're doing a good job. Be uh, prepared for the next steps.